Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So this video, I'm titling it, The Game Will Always Be Difficult for Weak Men. Okay? The game will always be difficult for weak men. So what what do I mean by weak men? What, what, makes the, what makes the guy weak and why is it difficult for this guy, right? See... What makes a guy weak is basically if he has a negative mindset, you know, his, his mindset is, you know, it's, it's scarcity mindset. It's a, you know, uh, it's, it's focused on failure. It's focused on giving up, you know, shit like that. You understand? And, and, and the reason why I even came up with this video is because, you know, I, I look at a lot of different videos on YouTube. And what I notice is there's a lot of guys who, you know, they're just like, fuck this shit. They're just like, God damn, like they're just giving up. They're like, this is some bullshit. You know, uh, game is nonsense. None of this works. You know, all, all the dating coaches are scammers and none of this dating stuff works. You know, if you don't have looks, money, stat, you know, the whole thing, right? And so what you have to understand is, is that the reason why it's difficult for these guys is because, you know, they, they, they have that mindset, which makes them weak. See, this is the, the funny part about these dudes is this, is that they think that they're special. Okay. They think that they're special. They think that they're like, well, you know, all these other guys, they, you know, if they're good looking or they are, they have money or this or that, they can get girls, but not me. I'm just a regular average looking guy with, you know, I work at fucking McDonald's or whatever. And it, it just can't happen for me. So, you know, so these dudes, what happens is, is that they, they think that they're special, meaning they'll say, well, you know, I, I get rejected a lot. I'm like, really? I'm like, guess what? Everybody gets rejected a lot. You understand? Oh, there's this girl that I, I, I at my school that I liked and she didn't like me. Really? There's a lot of guys who liked some girl at their school that didn't like them. You're not special. You understand? They're like, oh, well, you know, I, I, I talked to like, uh, you know, five or six girls and they all rejected me. Really? Guess what? There's a lot of times guys will talk to five or six girls in a row and get rejected. You're not special. You see what I'm saying? See, the difference between these guys who are who have that weak mindset and the guys who actually have success is the guys who have success don't let all of those things stop them from getting success. You understand? So, you know, and I've talked about this before, like, you know, there's been times where, like, I go out and I talk to like damn near 25 something girls before I pull one of them. You feel what I'm saying? This times I've talked to 50 girls before I pull one of them. This times where the first girl I talk to, I pull. It is what it is. That's part of the game. But see what guys will say is, you know, they'll be like, oh, but why do I got to talk to so many women? And that's messed up. And, you know, like, like, you know, these girls don't even give me a chance to approach and talk to them and they don't want to talk to me. And it's just a whole bunch of other bullshit. I'm like, look, I understand that it's not easy. You understand? I understand it's not this, you know, one, two thing that's just going to fall in your lap all the time. But see, the thing is this, the better you are at the game, the easier shit gets for you. You understand? See, that's the that's the part that dudes don't understand. See, you have guys who are like beginning, you know, at, at like a novice stage of the game. Then you have guys who are like intermediate. You understand? This is when, you know, um, when I would go out and talk to 25 chicks and get one, that's like more of like I was on some intermediate shit. Then you have the guys who are advanced. You understand? Where when you get to that advanced stage, 
It's not like every girl's going to want to fuck with you. It's not like you're going to get every girl you want. It's not like you're going to never get rejected. All of those things are still going to happen. You're still going to get rejected. You're still going to have chicks that don't want to fuck with you, whatever it is. When you're at that advanced stage, things get a little bit more easier for you because instead of talking to 50 girls to get one, you understand what I'm saying? You probably got to talk to eight to 10 girls to get one. You know what I mean? But either way, that's still part of the game. It's still a numbers game. There's no way around this. You got to still put in that work. You understand? And unfortunately, a lot of these guys, they, you know, it's going to be difficult for them because they're stuck in this false belief. They're stuck in these false beliefs thinking that they're doomed to be alone forever. You understand? Like, I'll be reading these comments on these videos and these message boards and, you know, one guy. And, and this is the funny part. I read this message one time. I was like, oh, my God, these guys... This is what I'm talking about. You guys got to get stronger than this, man. You, you guys got to stop letting the actions of women dictate your emotions and dictate how you move out here. I saw a comment where this guy was like, I was on plenty of fish and I, you know, sent the message to this girl and she responded talking about, oh, I don't, why are you messaging me on my profile? It says I only want a guy who's over six feet and yada, yada, yada. So then he was just like, he responded to, he was like, yo, I was just asking you a question. Why are you, you know, why are you acting like that? Why are you being so, you know, have an attitude? And then she responded like, oh, well, I don't want to talk to you and blah, blah, blah. So then he was like, he went on this rant in his, in his, in, on the message board or whatever, talking about, oh, I hate these fucking cunts and why would she act like that? And why can't she just act like a fucking person and these bitches out here? And this is why I don't talk to these hoes and I hate these fucking women. And I'm like, nigga, that a uh, 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 a message from some random chick on a on an online dating site got you heated like that? This is how you're responding to to some chick who 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 you know what I'm saying? Like this is your response. Why are you giving women this much power? Why? And, and and that response is basically the reason why it's hard for you to get women because you're so reactive to their bullshit. You understand? Like these dudes talking about, like I, I read somewhere else that a guy was like, oh, well, these women don't give me the chance to talk to them. Really? Really? So wait, let me, let me, okay, let me get this straight. So with the millions upon millions of women on, on this planet and that, that, and, and basically, you know, the societal quote unquote societal, societal norm is that you go and approach a woman like women. Most, most women aren't approaching men. You understand? Of course there's exceptions, but most women aren't approaching men, right? So we're approaching them. So, what do you mean, you know, some chick doesn't allow you to talk to her or approach? You can approach whoever the fuck you want. Now, if you approach a girl and she don't want to talk to you, then you keep it moving to the next girl. But you can approach anyone you want. And there's millions of girls for you to approach. So what are you complaining about? See, the the, the, the real reason is, is that you're upset and you're mad that most of the women you approach aren't being receptive to you. You're upset that most of the women that you're not trying to deal with, or the, or I should say most of the women that you're trying to deal with are not trying to deal with you. But see, this is the thing. Guys will get into their false belief and think, well, it's because no woman wants me. Right? That's a false belief. No woman wants me. That's their false belief. Instead of realizing the truth is that their mindset, having that weak mindset, is the thing that's making it hard for them to get a positive response from women. You understand? They think they're just inherently... Uh, repulsive to women. They just think, oh, well, women just don't want me, period. And it's like, no, you're doing things and you're acting in ways that's making it hard 
for you to attract women. See, let's okay. Let's 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 take let's take women out of the the the, the, the equation for right now. Let's, let's just use an example of money. You, you, it's like a person saying, "Well, you know, I can't I can't get any money because you know, money is only designated for certain people, and you know, if you get money, that means that you you have some special gift that that makes you get all these riches, and without that special gift, I you know you can't get any money, and, and I don't have that special gift that everyone else has, right?" And, and, you know, if someone was saying that, you'd be like, well, listen, you know, the way you can get money is that you got to, you know, give some goods or services in, in order to, you know, get the money. You have to work to get the money. You have to do something to get the money. But see, the reason why you're not getting the money is because your false belief of thinking you need some magical thing or that you're not worthy of getting money, which is what makes you not get the money, which is what makes you not put in the work which is what makes you not want to bother to try to get it. Because in your mind, you think you can't. Because in your mind, you think you're destined to never get any money. So you're, so therefore, you don't put in the work to get the money. You don't do the thing that's required to get the money, which is why you don't get the money. But you don't do the thing that's required to get the money because you believe there is no way you can get it because you believe you're destined to not get money in the first place. So when we flip it back to women, the reason why you're not getting the women is because you think you're destined to not get women. So therefore, if you think you're destined to not get women, you're not going to do the thing you need to do to get women. And if so I hear dudes say, well, no, but I, I, I approached a thousand girls. And none of them wanted me. I approached thousands of girls and none of them wanted me. Really? Really, my nigga? For real, though? You approached thousands of girls and not one of them was trying to fuck with you? Really, my nigga? Now, if that's the case, you're really doing something wrong. Let, 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 let's, let's make this clear because... Because people are like, oh, but you, you know, you, you, no, you're really doing something wrong. Like, you must have fucking, I don't know, bathed in dog shit or something to, to, for a thousand women to not want to fuck with you. Seriously. Or you must be doing something extremely wrong as far as your behavior is concerned that's making women not want to fuck with you. It's like I, I used the example before. It's like if I if I taught you two plus two is seven, and every time you take a math test and they actually two plus two and you you put seven, you keep getting it wrong. That's because you're uh 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 you know you, you have the wrong information. So you could take a thousand math tests and keep putting seven and be like, damn, well I took a thousand tests and I keep getting it wrong. You know why? Because you're doing the wrong shit. So yeah, it could be possible where you approach a thousand women and, and none of them want to fuck with you. But if that's the case, you're doing something wrong. You know what I mean? So look, man, this is the thing. You got to understand that if, if you know, if, if you have that weak mindset, the game is always going to be difficult for you. You understand? It's not about you, uh, uh, being the best looking dude. It's not about you having the most money or the most status or, you know, it's not about, oh, all these girls don't like me because you have not approached all these girls. You, you just haven't. But you have to understand that you have to have a mindset of abundance. You have to have a mindset of a guy who thinks he can do it. Because like, you know, the old saying, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So if you think you can't, then guess what? You ain't going to do it. If you think you can, you will because you find ways to do it. It's that simple. So, you know, you got a, a bunch of these dudes crying online. Oh, my God. I, I can't make this happen. And, oh, it sucks. And, you know, and I'm just like, yo, like, at the end of the day, you got to understand something. When... When you're trying to fuck, right? Or I should say this. When another man fucks, 
you don't feel the pussy on your dick. You understand what I'm saying? So basically, you have to do what you need to do for you to make shit work for you. You understand? And so it's it's kind of it's kind of like laughable to me and 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 almost like insulting in a way where I, where when I see when I see uh you know dudes talk about oh all this game stuff and this coaching stuff is is bullshit and it doesn't work and I'm like but what about all of the, the the people who call into my show who are on the bad boy membership or who who've read my books talking about how much it's helped them you understand or other coaches who been in the business for years and it's helping them. See, the thing is, you have guys who have that weak mentality trying to cope with what's going on out here. And, and you know, some of my subscribers are always like, Mr. Locario, why are you even bothering to talk about this stuff? Just let these dudes, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, uh, stay with the bullshit. But see, the thing is, I've had dudes that was on this bullshit who've turned shit around because they actually tried to make shit happen. They've actually switched up their mindset. They've actually really put in the work. You understand? So, you know, so this video is really for those guys, the guys who are, who, 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 who really just need that extra push to, you know, to get motivated to put in that work so that you can actually have some success in your dating life. All right? So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Click the link below to get the ebook 60 Second Game. In this book, you learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection, and honesty can affect your game. Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership dot com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com